she has grown right from mm -hmm. one year to 26 <laughs> long way to go yeah. i would like to share how she has grown uh, from the childhood to what she is today i think every every step of her growth has been memorable uh, to both of us actually uh, as a young boy uh, we had a very lovely time with him as a very naughty boy up. too eh, as he was growing up uh, he was a very naughty boy as, as a active and kid. naughty yes hyperactive i would say that my first impression uh, of amrit uh, has been very good actually uh, i think the first time when i met him uh, I was uh, pretty confident that he will definitely look after my, my daughter. My father is the biggest inspiration for me in terms of you know, the struggle that he's gone through to become the person he has. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. When he was very young one day uh, when he was sleeping on his bed, I mean his bed, Amazing. Suddenly started looking at the sky and then and suddenly observed that clouds were actually normally the clouds move, I mean keep passing and all. He didn't realize that un until that day. Suddenly he woke up, he came running to his mom and said, Mom, mom, mom. What did he say? The Cloud, clouds are falling. The, cow, the clouds are falling. The clouds are falling. And <laughs> so that was the funniest part I I mean I think that was from very my point cute. of view. Anyways. That was very cute. That. She's always going to be there with us. Yeah? I know she's going to be with me, but she's gone. Now you are living with your Lord. So. I'm not leaving anywhere, Dad. She was, she was so close to you, right? She was. You were the most favorite granddaughter she, she ever remembered, even until her last breath, actually. She's going to bless you. She's blessing you. She is with you now. She'll be with, with her. We will have, feel her presence. I don't know. <laughs> without her. She is my age. Without her, I can't imagine anything. But yeah, I wanted to be her like a, me and take care of everyone and love everyone. I think first when she visited it was I think one of Amrit's birthday it did happen to meet her but I didn't know anything about Swami at that time but uh, just as friends yeah just as a friends but I later on a little bit of little suspicious, suspicious yeah. <laughs> <laughs> slowly she became part of our family for the first time when Swami shared the news uh, <laughs> that she is in love with uh, Amrit. I was slightly uh, taken aback. Uh, I wasn't uh, sure like now how he looks like and uh, what he's doing and so on and so forth is concerned. So I was slightly uh, nervous, but when I met him for the first time, I think the whole perception and apprehension that I, I carried, I think everything is, has, has, has gone on thin air actually. I was so impressed, <coughs> so delightful to meet him. Leading up to this wedding event, there's lots of stress and nerves involved, uh, mainly in organizing all these events and everything going on. Um, but not once did I question my choice in the girl I was marrying today. There's no doubt in my mind, Samya, that you are the girl for me. She's my first daughter. That's the best memory I have. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she's going to make a very good sister-in-law. She's already opened up to me quite a bit, so very happy to welcome her into the family. She's so lovely as a person and the way she welcomed me in the family as well. Very beautiful, elegant yeah, and very sophisticated. The fun time that I had with you during, during my wedding is something that I'll cherish forever with you. I was one who took Somi in my hand first uh, when she was born in hospital. Somi is just like an amazing person already as she is. She like, she's strong, she's caring. 
so you can always work your way through any issues that you encounter. From knowing some as a little bit of like an emo kind of gothy vibe to seeing her getting married today, we've, I, I actually don't think there's anything we haven't done together at this point. As soon as I met him, I liked him and I think that he's a good match for Akka. A bit too tall for my liking. I'm pretty short, so. <laughs> uh, but he's a nice bloke. I don't think I could have wanted anyone else from her, so I think he's probably the perfect brother. Please don't bully Amrit like you bully me, Somi. <laughs> Please don't do that. So one advice would be for Amrit to just listen to Somia. Just whatever it is, just listen to Somia and then deal with the consequences later. And never say she's wrong. Match made in heaven. The way you interact with each other, the way you look at each other, and you go, these guys really have something going on. They're pretty, they're already a really good best friends, so for them, it's like a piece of cake. Yeah. They get along really well. You've got it. Yes. <laughs> I don't feel that He's getting married and growing. I feel he's going to be with us. In fact, um, it's an added member to the family. I think he's, uh, they both make a really good couple. And uh, we all, we both wish them uh, the for the very best. <laughs>